It is time to start crocheting here on Northern Yarn Arts. We are going to learn the foundation chain stitch or the CH if you're looking in, on a pattern with abbreviations. All right, to start with, I have my yarn and my crochet hook. I've checked the ball band um, on the original ball of yarn and made sure that my hook is sized correctly. Um, so this is a worsted weight yarn and the hook size that you most that you can start off with is an I or a nine or five point five millimeters. Okay. So when you see on a pattern CH, that means chain. We're going so we're doing our foundation chain. When you're working with yarn. This is the tail end. If we, if I were to fold it over, this is a tail. This is here is your working yarn. So the yarn that you're going to be taking yarn or er, yarn from as you crochet or knit is always called the working yarn. Okay. So I'm going to make myself a bit of a tail so that I can I'll end up uh, sewing that in later or weaving it in is another term for it. It's the more common term. We, you'll see weave in end on patterns. So I'm going to take that and my tail is going to go down across my hand across the inside of my palm and the tail goes down. I'm then going to take my working yarn and I'm going to wrap it around. So I'm going to take these two fingers here and they're going to hold the tail so that the tail doesn't go anywhere. I'm then going to wrap my working yarn around so that it creates an X. So tail goes around, working yarn goes around, creates an X. I'm then going to take and I'm going to reach into this loop I've created here and I'm going to grab my working yarn so that it comes up through that loop and I'm going to pull my tail on my tail till it's nice and snug secure. Okay, this is called a slip knot. Um, different people have different ways of doing it. This is the way I do it. That way I don't have to have any secure surface or anything like that to do it on. I can just do it wherever I am. And the reason it's called slip knot is that you can then hold that and you pull on your working yarn and the loop gets bigger or smaller, pull on the loop and the loop gets bigger. So it makes it you can do different sizes. Okay, so let's do this. I'll show that again. This is the foundation for pretty much, well, a lot, great deal, a uh, lot of your yarn arts. So knitting and crocheting, you'll need this for it. So tail, round, do an X, reach through the loop, Grab your working yarn like that. Okay. And feel free to pause, go back, and watch that as many times as you need to. You will reach a point where you can just do it without even thinking. This is a nice thing to practice so that it becomes just part of your muscle memory. Okay. Once that is done, I'm going to take my crochet hook here, stick it into my loop. I'm going to pull on my working yarn to make that tighter. I don't want it too tight. I want to be able to slip my hook through it. So about that much space because I want to be able to slip my hook through it with yarn. Okay, so I'm going to then take my tail and I'm going to put it along my crochet hook and I'm going to hold that that way I don't accidentally crochet with my tail instead of my working yarn. That has been that ha does happen quite frequently especially when you start out. And I'm going to wrap the yarn. It'll go away from me. You see notice I'm using my finger here to hold the tail or the to hold the knot so it doesn't wrap around with as I wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, I'm going to wrap 
away from me and then towards me. Okay, I'm then going to grab the tail and I'm going to twist my hook so it goes down towards the knot or towards, there's a bit of a V there, some people will call that a V. Okay, so wrap it, then it will grab the loop and pull it through. That's your first crochet stitch. Okay, so we'll do that again. I'm going to go gonna hold this with my finger there, wrap it around, grab my stitches, turn. Now you're going to want to make sure that you don't make this too tight. So if you go to do it and you have to, you have to force it through, that means your last stitch was too tight. So then just, just pull on this a little bit and loosen it up. Okay, so around like that. Take it, turn through the loop like that. Okay, round, turn, like grab your previous stitches, turn through the loop. Okay, make sure your stitches, your chain stitches are not too tight. Because if they are too tight, later on when you're going to crochet, because you've got to put your crochet hook through, it will be too tight for that. Okay, so wrap it turn and go through. As you as your chain gets longer, you don't have to worry about your tail so much because you've got more distance, okay? So, wrap it around. Turn and through. And you're going to just keep doing that over and over again. until you've got the number of stitches that you need. Now, to count your stitches, you don't count your slip knot, you don't count the stitch that is on your hook here, the loop that's on your hook. So you count, we can see there's one, kind of goes around, two. So you're looking at where it goes up, like this, and you can kind of see the differentiated stitches there. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you can continue, um, you can continue practicing making stitch after stitch. Um, make you can make a really long chain if you want to. My daughter likes to make chains and then she'll use them for bracelets. Um, just to pr practice because it is a muscle memory thing and the more you practice the better you'll be so, so you just do it until you've got the right n number of stitches as to what's called for in your pattern so see so if it says CH 27 you want 27 of these or CH 8 you'll want 8 of these or 2 or 3 okay so I cannot stress enough that the big thing that you need to do is establish muscle memory. Do that stitch over and over and over again until it's just something that's easy and automatic to do. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down in the comment section down below and let me know if, you know, what can I do to improve videos? What would you like to learn? Um, any suggestions, any questions, any comments at all, just let me know. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.